Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My dear students We are going to learn about the kinetic theory of gases Lesson 9 of chapter 2 states of matter At the end of the lesson We should be able to know how to explain qualitatively the basic assumptions of the kinetic theory of gases we also should be able to explain the ideal and non-ideal behaviors of gases in terms of intermolecular forces and molecular volume. We should be able to state the conditions at which real gases approach the ideal behavior and explain qualitatively van der Waals equation. The kinetic theory of gases is generally acceptable to apply on the theory of explaining the property of gases. What are they? The first postulate states that the volume of gases particles is negligible. The gas particles are considered to have mass but no volume. For example, when you compress oxygen gas, 99.96% of the total volume is an empty space. The second postulate states that the intermolecular forces of particle can be neglected. Intermolecular forces are very weak in gases and do not affect their observed properties. We can say that the attractive and repulsive forces between gas molecules are negligible. For example, the spontaneous expansion of gases. The third postulate is the motion of the gas particle. Gas particles move in constant, random and straight line motion. They will collide with each other or with the walls of the container and the collisions are elastic. Energy can be transferred between gas particles during collision but the average kinetic energy of the molecules does not change with time. The fourth postulate is the collisions of the gas particle. The average kinetic energy of the molecules is proportional to the temperature of the gas in Kelvin. So any two gases at the same temperature will have the same average kinetic energy. Ideal gas is the gas that obeys gases laws at any condition. Ideal gas will assume all four kinetic theory of gas. They are small and tiny particles. The volume and attraction are negligible and the collisions of the gas are elastic. On the other hand, real gases deviates from ideal behavior. If we say that the ideal gas has no volume and no intermolecular forces and obey ideal gas equation, real gas is non-ideal. So it would have a finite volume experience intermolecular forces and fails to obey the ideal gas equation. Real gas obeys van der Waals equation. Real gas deviates from ideal behavior as shown in figure 2.7a. Let's say we have one mole of ideal gas by using PV equals to nRT, we plot N equals to PV over RT equals to 1. All real gases converge to 1 mole when the pressure approaches 0. This shows that real gas is having an ideal behavior 
at low pressure. The deviation is affected by the intermolecular forces and the volume of the gas. There are two types of deviation, a negative and a positive one. For negative deviation, the PV over RT is less than 1, so the graph is plotted below 1. When the gas is compressed, molecules are pushed more closer together, therefore attractive forces increase, and making the volume of the real gases decrease more than expected. For positive deviation, when the PV over RT is more than 1, the graph is plotted above 1. At high pressure, the molecules are so close to one another, increasing the repulsive force, therefore it becomes less compressible. Hence, the volume will decrease slowly. Figure 2.7b clearly explains that real gas displays deviation from ideality as the temperature decreases from 1000 Kelvin to 200 Kelvin. Real gases display deviation from ideality, but as the temperature increases, the line of PV over RT against pressure for the real gas is approaching the dotted line for the ideal gas. Therefore, real gases behave almost ideally at high temperature. What are the effects of pressure and temperature on the behavior of real gases? Real gases will behave ideally at low pressure and high temperature, but as the pressure becomes higher and the temperature becomes lower, it deviates significantly from ideal behavior. Why does real gas behave ideally at low pressure? When we increase the volume of a container, gas molecules are far apart from each other, making intermolecular forces and volume insignificant. This allows the real gas to behave ideally. Why does real gases behave ideally at high temperatures? At high temperature, the gas molecule possesses high kinetic energy and this will allow them to free themselves from the attractive forces. Therefore, the intermolecular forces are negligible, making the real gases behave ideally. The van der Waals equation is an equation for gases that modifies the ideal gas equation to account for intermolecular forces and volume. We can see here A and B must be determined experimentally, whereby a n square over V square is the measure of internal pressure correction term due to intermolecular interaction. And N B here is the measure of the volume occupied by the molecules. When the molecules experience intermolecular forces, the molecule will slow down and the movement and the collision within the molecule and with the wall becomes less. Less collision means lower pressure exert than the gas would exert if there were no attraction. Since pressure for real gas is less than pressure of ideal gas, the term P need to be corrected as shown in the van der Waals equation. The excluded volume is the volume within which the molecules are not able to move because of their own finite volume. Figure 2.8 shows 
the volume of the gas molecules is corrected by NB. Hence, making the Van der Waals equation have a finite intrinsic volume. Table 2.2 shows that the higher the A value, the stronger the intermolecular forces of attraction for a molecule. And the stronger the B value, the higher is the molecular mass, hence the greater is the volume. Okay, now we have explained the kinetic theory of gases, ideal and real gases with Van der Waals equation. Thank you for listening and see you again soon. Bye!